problem. According to WHO estimates, every minute somewhere in the world, a child dies of pneumococcal disease. The price of inaction is staggering. In Nepal, many children suffer from this killer infection. At Patan Hospital in Kathmandu lies its latest victim, three-month-old baby Muna. So this is a baby girl brought to our hospital 10 days ago with cough, fever and difficulty breathing. And our initial assessment was pneumonia with respiratory distress. So most probably this is, we think, is a pneumococcal pneumonia. The bacteria, Streptococcus pneumoniae, is a major cause of meningitis and pneumonia. The most seriously ill tend to be the youngest children whose immune systems have not yet fully developed. While some can be treated with antibiotics, the only real solution to this global health problem is prevention through vaccination. I'd be very glad if we did have a vaccine against pneumococcal disease. Less children would suffer. In the West, there is a safe and effective vaccine for pneumococcal disease, but it doesn't protect against all the strains commonly found in the developing world. In Soweto, a trial of 40,000 children has tested a vaccine, which includes more strains of the disease. We were delighted with the results of the trial. The vaccine reduced uh, invasive pneumococcal disease by 65% in HIV-infected children, and by 83% in uninfected children. These results are crucial because children with HIV are up to 40 times more likely to get pneumococcal disease. So this vaccine will have a massive impact in countries with high rates of HIV. The results of the clinical trial are incredibly encouraging, but for us the work has only just begun. New studies are looking at extended protection vaccines to reach more children in the developing world. However, experts agree that we should begin using what we have now to save precious lives sooner. WHO is calling for countries to give a very high priority to introduce the available vaccine now and move to newer vaccines which will contain additional serotypes that are important in developing countries as and when these become available. Industry is busy developing these new vaccines, but to reach those who need it, donors and countries need to finance them. The good news is that political leaders are committing more money than ever before. In February 2007, five countries Italy, the UK, Canada, Norway and Russia, together with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, committed 1.5 billion US dollars to an advance market commitment. Ladies and gentlemen, this appalling arithmetic of death and disease around the world has moved all of us to action. We can ensure that the many will not be denied the vaccines and medical advances that are available to the few. The world is starting to take it very seriously because we have seen that vaccines are working against other diseases uh, therefore we should also be able to do the same against pneumococcus. The National Immunization Board has labeled pneumococcal vaccine as the highest priority vaccine for introduction into India. The future in the fight against pneumococci is great. We have a vaccine in place, we are collecting the data and we think that in the very near future, we shall have a vaccine saving millions of lives in this part of the world. In my opinion, I can advise that not here only in South Africa, all over the world, this injection must be used. In my opinion, yes, because it's so helpful. You can see this one, it's a strong man. No complaints about it.